Yeah, my wonderful people. Me con I can hear this message yo. Obasanjo visit uh, Emmanuel Iwanyawo and also host meeting with the officials and leaders of Ohaneze in the Yoruba and Ohaneze in the Fulefu. What does this signify? I keep telling my people when a uh, uh, people be go and see the person he can use as a backup uh, elder states might not see it's better people be choosing uh, um, uh, Bode George Ulu Bode George than to choose Obas and George. that is the worst thing that ever happened to people be and it's one of the reasons why they not say Nehika Ba that they can never give power to people be because during the time that Obasanjo stayed there as the president of Nigeria from 1999 to 2007, he dealt with the North. He dealt with them. They did not get uh, the, the, the required attention they want to get because they seem to be, that, I mean, uh, they, they see themselves as the uh, number one citizen in the country. When why Yoruba are the, and the second, uh, uh, second citizens, why then Nigeria, uh, I mean, uh, Igbos? Or the Biafrans are the third class citizens. But look at it now. Ohanese Ndi Beri Bena is having a meeting, a closed door meeting with uh, OBJ, that is uh, Ulusegun or Basanjo. It is a very bad omen to the Southeasterners, to the Biafrans, and also to the image of what the Biafrans and Igbos represents. Or Basanjo never meant well for the Igbos, he never meant well for the Biafrans. That is why he seeded. The, Biaf the Bakasi Peninsula to the uh, Cameroonian government, knowing fully well that in years to come, that the so-called area will be a, I mean, it will be a, 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 a kind of a, 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 what I call a bone of contention between the Biafran government and uh, the, the public of, uh, and the public of, um, I mean, uh, the people of uh, Cameroon. He did that. This same uh, um, uh, Obasanjo still turn back again, hunt Peter Obi because he know the popularity Obi Obi is carrying. But indirectly, OBJ worked for Tunumbu. Let's forget about uh, whatever they do on the public uh, domain, on the public space. OBJ secretly work to make sure that um, uh, Tunumbu won that election. Forget about following Peter Obi, shouting on top of his voice. That is politics for, for them. The worst people you can ever deal with you in terms of uh, sabotaging is the Yorubas. A Yoruba man can sabotage you even right before your face, not even in your back. I cannot hold him responsible. They will tell you it is politics. So tell me, is there anything good that will ever come out when OBJ is having a meeting with the same called Ohanez and Belibe, who have not done anything or whatsoever? For, for how the, the so called political republic of Nigeria have been invading our lands at ease, killing, mamming, and massacring the Biafrans at will, without nobody questioning them. Things that happen in the southeast have happened in a million times in the north. No any single village was invaded by the military, by the police, by the NSS, NSS CDC, or whatever security personnel. But in our own land, any small thing, in a slighted provocation, they invade our land, kill our innocent aged mothers, and kidnap our young youths. And that is the end of Solomon Grundy. You can never hear about them again. My people, I want you people to put your ears on the ground. This meeting between OBJ and the Wanyamu never speak good. Maybe they are about to say the whole South Easterners can't give the Yorubas or give to the hours outsiders. Remember, the trending video online now is that they have demarcated the, the country. Tunumbu made it openly that the Yorubas and Fulanese are one, that they belong to each other. So, if you are as a Biafran, you as an Igbo man, you from the old or new eastern region, and you still depend or doing anything with the Yorubas, my dear, Fiasa and Anya, make sure you do what? You open your eye very wide and make sure you use what they call long spoon because when you are eating with the ghosts or the spirits, you have to use a long spoon, mis uh, long spoon mistakenly. If they decide to change their mind, my dear, in a wawa, you, you, you took to your heels. That's exactly the point. So, tell me what business will OBJ be doing with Emmanuel Iwanyamu and what kind of meeting and what are they holding the meeting for? 
to further, I mean, to further complicate the issues of the Biafrans or to further complicate the issues of the Igbos that we are facing at this point in time. The Happy New Year, our people, our boys in Lagos, what they got from the so-called government of the day is the demolition of their shops in Computer Village in Lagos State. Since all this demolition, since the campaigning for all the killings in the in Lagos State, OBJ have never come out, and either state man and Yoruba man have never come out one day and condemn any of them. Yet, our people still embrace, embrace this saboteur of a man, this snake, a green snake under green grass. I doubt it. If there's anything good, that will ever come out from that meeting. But let us read on. Let us know exactly why are they holding the meeting. I know what we see on the public domain is different from what they discuss. But for reading's sake, and to keep the record straight, let us read it. Please, help me like this message, share it, comment on it, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. All the very, very important and very, very necessary. OBJ visits Iwanyawu host meeting with Iwaneze Ndibelibe leaders. Obasanjo discussed issues of mutual interest with Iwanyawu alongside other Iwaneze leaders. Addressing journalists on Friday on the outcome of the visit, Secretary General of Iwaneze Ndibelibe, Oke okay, Emuchai, said the meeting was very symbolic and crucial as fruitful deliberations we are held. He said, issues of mutual interest were discussed. The President General informed Tifo Basanjo that Nigeria should erect monuments in his name for the sacrifices he has made. Megan is this thing good? I mean, so Iwanya Wona, the only meeting you have with your Basanjo is to do what uh, Rosa Sokrocha did in Owere, to be erecting a uh, uh, statues, st statues of uh, uh, dead and the living ones. Uh, even when the poor masses are still looking for food to eat, they will tell you they use billions of naira and dollars to erect common a statue. That is what the meeting you people heard, Abi. <laughs> I hope you that hearing my voice, it shocked you, Abi. Even myself reading this news, that it, it shocked me very well. <laughs> he recalled his role in the ending the civil war with a slogan of "No victor and no vanquished." Repayment of which external debt and recovery of the economy during his time as president. How does this contribute to the welfare of the Igbos? I ask you again, Emmanuel Iwanyamu. He informed the former president that the Igbo nation will bestow honor on him appropriately. Somebody who dealt with the Igbos in Odi, Odi belongs to the old eastern region. Obasanjo brought Odi to the ground. Not even a single, even. Every living thing, including bananas and uh, cassavas, everything went down. It is Obasanjo. I want to honor him appro appropriately. Emmanuel Iwanya is either your brain is congealed or you have empty brain. Or maybe cockroaches have taken over your brain. Remember that when Chief Obasanjo was president, he appointed several Igbo sons and daughters into his cabinet and other high profile positions. A sense of belonging was provided to the Igbo nation during that time. That is the. That, that is the, the topic of the meeting, you know, Obo China. Hey, no more, no less. Okay, oh, insecurity in Nigeria has gone beyond control, according to Ulubode George. Elder statesman and founding father, fathers, or one of the founding fathers, a member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Bode George, has said that things have worsened, especially in the area of uh, security in the so-called Nigeria. According to George, the situation has already gone out of control. He said that a Bola Ahmed Tunumbu has a lot of work to do and Nigeria are ready to give him time. Time like how many? Lifetime president, my dear, you have spoken from the both sides of your mouth again. <laughs> the state of our nation has been completely in a shambolic situation. It is in perpetual despair and despondency. There is hunger in the land and there is anger in the land as well. The insecurity has gone beyond control. Chief George said on Channel Television Politics, what which happens on Friday. So when you look at all those things, we are all Nigerians and I listen to his, Tunumbu's New Year speech. And I also listen to what Chief Osoba said. This is not the time to play politics. It is our nation. He, Tunumbu, has a lot of works to do. And I have listened to him. He has these eight objectives for the year. National defense, internal security, and job creation. The man who left, uh, who was my ogre, did a woeful job. 
he did not do well at all. They belong to the same party, according to Olubode George. So we all Nigerians, we give him a chance. Let us see how he is going to handle it. Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, God will guide him, according to Olubode George. Rivers Crisis, Prophet Ikuru Abi, Abi Ikuku, release his message to Wike and also to Sim Fubara. Amid a continual crisis in River State, the founder of Jehovah's Eye Salvation Ministry, Prophet Godwin Ikuru, had disclosed what God told him about the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, uh, Nelson Wike, and Governor Sim Fubara of River State. He could have said God said that Wike should pay more attention to his health in the year 2024. Posting the message on his Facebook page, the Portacot based clergyman has urged Fubara to concentrate on governance. He could say Fubara should not behave like a chameleon, but should focus on delivering the dividends of democracy to the people of River State. According to him, Wike, go and take care of your health. Year 2024 that we are. Take care of your head, otherwise you will live to the great. And then Fubara in River State, I saw a light falling down. And the Lord said to me that I should tell you that you should be honest, that you shouldn't act like a chameleon, that you should walk and discharge your duty to your people. You attain the position so that Ijaz and every other tribe benefit from this government. Every government have a challenge. And the Lord is telling me to tell you that you should focus on your job. Wike and Fubara have been at loggerhead since late 2023 over control of the state political space or who will become the organ of them all. Where my people are here, may I go take a break. Make on a like, share, comment. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as we are proceeding today. Happy Sunday once again to you all. May the God Almighty, the Tukwa Kabia Monye Primihinele, bless you, bless the words of your hand, and prosper you in all ramifications. Bye for now, my people. Give me